again. Alright guys, I'm back again. And this time I'm, I am here to show you how to make a guessing game in TI Basic. So, let's name our program. Let's name it Guess. Alright. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make a random integer 1 through 10. So to do that, you press the math button, and you're going to go over to this probability tab up here, and do random int 1 through 100. Then you want to store that in A. The next thing we want to do is make a counter, so that way the person can tell how well they did, how many tries it took. So we'll just store 1 in C, and that will be our counter var variable. After that, you go down to the ninth on the program tab and make a label. That will allow us to go back to the label. So what we do now is we'll have the user enter something. So we'll use input. Whoops. I'm using an emulator. I just got it. It's uh, quite nice actually. So yes. So we'll do second or er, input, and then we'll just say guess, and we need to set a variable for that. So the input will be set to B. So now we need a bunch of if statements. So our first one will be if B second math is less than A. Then display. We wanted to display. No, no. We wanted to display higher. And then after it displays that, it's going to add one to the counter. So C plus one. We store that in C. And then it will go to, which is the tenth one down go to 1. Now we need to add another if statement, but this time we need an else in front of it. So we do else if b second math is greater than a then we need you to display lower. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> Using the keyboard and it and it I have to be on second alpha or I have to be on alpha lock, otherwise it does that. So it'll display lower and it'll add one to C and then it will go to go to one. Now we need one last if statement and that one will be Actually, we need an else. In, we need an else in front of it first again. So program or else, then if B second math not matrix second math is equal to A, then display you win. And just because we're going to add a exclamation point, you win. And then on the next line, it will display C, so that way you know how many took, how many tries it took you. All right, let me run this. So second quit, execute. All right, so let's go with seventy. Higher, wow, 80, 90, 95. Yeah, one, four tries. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for some more TI 84 plus or whatever calculator you have programming. I will see you next time, and bye bye.